Are you sometimes wondering where your next client is going to come from? It is actually something which is very common for makeup artists, artists, beauty professionals, network marketers to wonder where the next business is going to appear. So this is why in this episode number 111, I'm going to share with you five marketing tips to attract clients to you and most importantly to know how and where to find them. So stay tuned. Hey, hey, Thierry here from TierryBAlexander.com. I help makeup artists, network marketers, and entrepreneurs create an effective presence online so that you can attract the best qualified leads in your business for you to monetize your business much faster, easier, and while having fun along the way. If you're new here, consider subscribing because each and every week I do give you access to a new video training with also attached to it a freebie of some sort, a PDF, a cheat sheet, a further free training to empower you within your business. This week, I want to share with you the five marketing tips that are going to help you attract clients to you. In fact, these principles, those elements are the basics, the foundations of any business. Once you know that, those, those elements, those five elements, you can run any type of businesses. And it will also help you to know uh, what and how to post on social media to be able to communicate with your audience better. So let's dive into it. The first marketing tip is to find your ICA. ICA stands for Ideal Customer Avatar, which is essentially the stereotype of the person you want to serve. This might be obvious to you, yet let me tell you that a lot of people are missing out on this specific element and they do not get to choose who is it that they want to serve and work with. Believe me, if I wish something was taught to me in the very early stages of my entrepreneurship journey. It is this because it would have avoided me to go through a lot of stress and very awkward ways of prospecting on the streets, in the, the, the line of the supermarket, in the public transport, while going on holidays at the airport, all that kind of prospecting, right? I would have avoided awkward conversations because of knowing who is my ideal audience right versus wanting to serve everybody which turns out to be nobody really however you might have distinguished what i've said right a, a very minor yet so important way of speaking and, and talking about this topic it is who do you decide to serve who do you decide and choose to serve versus who is your audience i i used to be asked at some point who is your audience and i'm like I, I don't know right women men who do i who do i attract i mean how how am i supposed to know whereas when we say who do you decide to serve you get to choose you are empowering yourself and you're taking control or and and you are in charge of your business now if you want to refer back to how to figure out who is your ideal audience, how to choose your ideal audience, you might want to check my episode number 92 by going on trvalexander.com forward slash 92. Otherwise, right in, the, in the, the written version of this blog, you can see the link in the first marketing tip, which is choose your ICA, ideal customer avatar. The second marketing tip is to about clarifying your message. Once you've decided who you want to serve, it is best to craft a message that you're going to put out there in order to attract people into your world. Clarifying your message means to speak to your audience in a way that resonates with them by using some, uh, some words that are talking to their desires, their pain, their struggles, so that they feel like you know them and you actually are speaking to them. For example, if you would be selling an anti-aging product, you are not going to share about that anti-aging benefit the same way you do with someone who's 70 years of age and someone else who's, who is 30 years, 30 years old, right? One is wanting to uh, reduce the wrinkles and one is wanting to prevent the wrinkles. So the verbiage is going to be different for different audiences. This is where the clarification of the message is very important. So people know that you are speaking to them directly and you know them. 
The third marketing tip that I want to share with you is to find your fishing poles. After you clarified who is it that you want to serve, the message you need to put in front of them often, then you want to know where they are hanging out. This is actually going to be easier than it sounds because you've already at this stage done most of the work. Once you know your, your audience needs, wants and desires, you will figure out where they are hanging out. You will get to know what they like so you can go in the places where there is those things that they like or the things that they like talking about. So what I tend to suggest is to find two to five, maximum five Facebook groups where you can hang out and where you, all your ideal audience is sitting in, where your fishing pool is, right? Now, those Facebook groups don't necessarily need to be about business or product. It can be about your hobbies, what you love talking about, what you love doing, what you love sharing. For example, if you are a makeup artist and you love hiking, go and find a hiking group where you can communicate with people. The reason being is that people do not buy into businesses and products initially anyway, they buy into people. So the best way to build relationship is to find commonalities. Therefore, if you love hiking and you are in a hiking group sharing some photos, commenting on other people's photos, you will create some bonds that are going to naturally form and you're going to get to know each other in a more private setting, in private messaging. And they might be asking you, what do you do? You're a makeup artist, so I'm getting married next year. I'm looking for a makeup artist. Would you like to be my makeup artist? That, that is also how you build relationship, not necessarily always be in the places where people are asking for your product and where you can pitch your business and opportunity, which by the way, we don't pitch, we offer. And there's a really nice, sexy way of doing it. We wanna build relationship and true, genuine, authentic rapport with people. In fact, as you may know, each and every single week, I do offer you and give you access to a free guide of some sort, a cheat sheet, a PDF, something that can guide you and empower you within your business to move the needle from where you are to where you want to be much quicker. Because we're talking about marketing tips, where to find your audience, how to talk to them, creating authentic, natural relationship and rapport, I brought, to, I brought together my, a guide which is the, the conversation build a guide. This is going to help you build much faster rapport with people and transition into business conversation much faster as well. So if you want to get access to this guide, just click the yellow button below this video and that will be sent automatically into your email box. If you're anywhere else on social media, on my YouTube, or you see this video on Instagram, anywhere else that you are except on my blog, then just refer back to my blog, thierryvalexander.com forward slash 111 and then you will see below the video a massive yellow button and then you click that you will receive my conversation build a guide right into your email box the fourth marketing tip is about connection as i said it's really important to connect because people do not buy into product services or opportunities really they buy into other people that is why it's so important to connect authentically and build that relationship and to kind of always remind ourselves to be a human first and a blank second. So a makeup artist second, a network marketer second, a musician second, an entrepreneur second, whatever it is, you are a human first and blank second. When you have found the Facebook groups where your ideal customer avatar is hanging out, just go in there, interact and build rapport with the members. This is some of the examples on how you can do it. First, creating a post, introduction post, where you say something along the line, I'm new here, let's connect, I'm from blank, where are you from? And then you will see people commenting, you can start building a relationship. Comment on other people's posts within the group. They are doing the work for you, essentially. They're creating some content and they're attracting members commenting on their posts. Create, comment on there with that, that post creator. Also, interact with the other commenters in those posts that you see within the group. Once you interact with people, you then 
after you send a few back and forth messages and once you've done that, you can friend request, well, actually you friend request them after you send a few back and forth messages. And then when you send a friend request at the same time, you are also private messaging them and sending a message along the line of nice connecting with you over into the group X, Y, Z. I thought of connecting because you can take it from where you left it off within the group, or you can say something also like I've checked, I've checked your, your profile and I see you're from this city. I'm from that city also, or I visited it or something that appealed to you, a common, a, a common commonality point that you can start the conversation again in a private inbox and carry it on of this way for you to build more relationships. This process is simpler than it looks and sounds, and it is very straightforward. It doesn't have to take long to build, to build rapport. As I've mentioned, after a few back and forth messages within a common threads, you can friend, you can friend request people and send them a private message. It's social media. People accept and expect that to be happening. My fifth and final tip to attract more clients into your world is to actually invite, be proactive at inviting people for them to see what you're doing. And now you might be wondering, how do you actually make people see your product, your service, your opportunity, and whatever else you are offering the marketplace? Well, this will vary from conversation to conversation, yet, it doesn't have to take forever, as I've said. It can be really fast. If you ask the right question that lead the conversation for you to get the information that you need, their needs, their wants, desires, pain, and struggles, then you will be able to pop the magic question very fast. So what is the magic question? It is very simple, my friend, which is the following. Are you open to blank? Are you open to book a beauty consultation? Are you open to take a look into the product that I've got to help you with your skin condition? Are you open to take a look in this business opportunity that can help you blank? That's another level, there's a second blank here. But you get the gist, right? Are you open to? And if you're open, then let me know. I'll share with you, I'll send you the information, we'll book the consultation, we'll get together. If not, no big deal. That's it. So are you open to blank? If you're open, let me know. If not, no big deal. That's how you invite and that's how people are going to tell you yes or no, they are interested. And if yes, that's great. If no, you move on and you go ask the, next, the following person who you think could be interested into booking your services, buy your product, join your opportunity, and get together with you for whatever offer you are putting in the marketplace. So in conclusion, you need to know who you serve, the message that, to craft the message that is talking to them, putting it in front of your audience on a regular basis, connect with your audience, like we mentioned in the Facebook groups and the, through the various ways of posting and commenting, engaging, bring them into your world by friending them up and then private pri private message them to build the relationship and rapport and take the conversation to another level uh, with that prospect of yours and remember i've got your back as well in terms of conversation starter uh put together the the conversation build the guide that you can get access by clicking the yellow button below this video and once again if you are on my YouTube channel or any other platform, you can go into the description section that is somewhere around this video and you'll see the link that is going to direct you back to my blog and you'll see below this video once more, the big massive yellow button that you cannot miss, click it and that will send you the conversation guide, in the conversation build the guide into your email box. Did you get value out of this video training? I truly hope that you did. If you did, of course, smash the share button, send it to your fellow network marketers, makeup artists, entrepreneurs, whomever you believe would love to attract more clients in their business. Question of the week, who is your ICA, your 
ideal customer avatar? Who is it that you want to serve with your product, service and opportunity? Share with me in the comment section. I would love to know and tailor also some of my trainings a little bit more for you so you can get those examples and implement them into your business. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love connecting with you each and every single week. This training is a wrap, but I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye-bye.